Before you head off on your next trailering adventure, it's a good idea to run through a pre-trip safety inspection. One of the first things to check is make sure that your uh, safety cables or chains are in good shape, that they're not rusted or corroded through, and make sure that they're clipped securely to the vehicle. And while you're at it, make sure that the brake actuator safety cable is also securely attached to the vehicle. Make sure that the trailer lights harness is securely and fully inserted in the vehicle socket. Make sure that the coupler latch is fully engaged and that the safety pin is inserted. And don't take off until the trailer jack is stowed. You also want to make sure that the winch-based safety cable is attached to the bow eye of the boat. Also, make sure that the tires are inflated to the proper PSI. Don't forget to make sure that the tie-down straps are securely attached. Also make sure that the hubs are properly greased. Hit it with a shot of, uh, with the grease gun before you take off. And make sure that the trailer lights are functioning properly. And one last very important thing, make sure that your outboard is fully raised. On today's trailering tips, we're going to show you another feature of this all-new Sierra, which has been designed and engineered to make trailering easier. Right now, we're going to focus on the vehicle's backup camera, which makes it really easy to hook up your trailer and launch your boat. I really love the backup camera. It makes hooking up the ball and the coupler so simple. Right on. How's it look, Tom? You don't need my help. <laughs> When trailering a boat at highway speeds, it's possible to experience what's known as trailer sway. Trailer sway can be caused by uneven loads, load shifting, wind gusts, turbulence from large trucks, and quick steering maneuvers. The best way to avoid trailer sway is to check the load capacity of your vehicle and trailer and to make sure your load is properly balanced before you hit the road. However, even if you take these precautions, it's still possible to experience trailer sway. Fortunately, this 2014 GMC Sierra comes with a feature designed to automatically control trailer sway. When the system senses trailer sway, it intervenes by braking and or reducing the engine power thereby helping to bring the trailer under control and keeping it on its intended path. Trailer sway control is also capable of using the electric trailer brakes when a trailer is connected to the standard wiring harness of the truck. It's just one more feature of the 2014 Sierra designed to make sure that you and your family or crew arrive safely at the launch ramp so that you can have more fun on the water. I'm Tom Richardson for New England Boating and that's another GMC trailering tip. In this GMC trailering tip, we're going to focus on trailer tire inflation. Underinflated trailer tires can significantly affect your fuel economy as well as cause unnecessary wear and tear on the tires themselves. So always make sure your trailer tires are inflated to the proper PSI. You can find your trailer tires designated PSI rating right here on the tire sidewall. This one happens to be rated for 65 PSI coal. If your tire pressure is low, you're obviously going to need to inflate the tire. That's where having a portable pump like this one can really come in handy. The compressor can also be used for inflating beach toys and bicycle tires. Proper tire inflation, another simple way you can make trailering hassle-free. Another intelligent feature of the 2014 GMC Sierra is Hill Start Assist. When the Sierra's internal monitoring system detects that the vehicle is stopped on a grade of 5% or greater, it automatically engages the brakes for 1.5 seconds. Emergency brake first. Put the vehicle in drive. Time to apply the accelerator. This gives you plenty of time to slowly accelerate up the ramp or up a steep hill. It's just another thoughtful feature that makes the 2014 GMC Sierra a great choice for towing boats here in New England, especially in coastal areas where the tide difference can make for some very steep ramps. 